internet people. Okay, my hand was up there. Um, one thing before I start this video today, if you did not know, I am a fan of Yokai Watch. I cannot pull down my poster real quick, but I know you can see it. You can see like one of the one of their faces. And in previous story, I've talked about Yokai Watch, an actual watch. But what? But if you did not know, early yesterday I got stuffed animals. How freaking adorable is this? Oh, it's so fluffy. Like, this is supposed to be the legendary yokai one, once you find all the medals for the first book. Um, I forget the name because I haven't seen, I haven't watched the show in a while because I'm waiting for season two to come out on Netflix because I'm too lazy to go and find it on Hula. But tell me this is not adorable. I am not sponsored for this, but, but sponsor me. I could real help you not just that one i've got this one too it looks kind of weird with with the hairstyle but this is one rough stuff or tough rough i think it's one of them um takes over influence on jabanyan and turns him into like this evil version and of course there's whisper the main ghost and that's all I gotta say for, for the beginning of this video. Thank you for watching this little part, and I will get back to you in just a second. Embarrassing moments. We've all had them. To times that you've called your teacher mom. To times that you fell asleep in class. To things. But we're here to talk about what my biggest embarrassing moment. So this was like around fourth grade. So I was like, I was like, 10, going to be 11 in a few months, and literally, what I did, uh, everyone just, like, like, bl keeps bringing it up, whenever we, I get into a conversation that, for, um, with, man, I cannot speak today, whenever I get into a conversation with somebody that, uh, knew me in fourth grade, they always bring up this moment. I was sitting in my classroom. Teacher was talking about some boring reading schedule thing about do this. And I bet you're saying right now, uh, why didn't you listen? I was listening, but it bore me to death. And I did not want to, like, fall asleep during her class. So what I did to pass the time, because I knew I had a few minutes until I had to go to class to this teacher. Let's just call her Miss Walrus. Um, no... I'm not going to name her real name. So she was my reading teacher. And if you are my friend watching this, you probably know who I was talking about. Um, sorry. So, like, I decided to tie my shoelace to my desk. But see here? That's when it all went crazy. I tied my shoelace to my desk, then realized, looking at the time, that I had to get to my class because my friends were already leaving. Like, three other kids in my class were were leaving, finally leaving into the classroom to, like, walk down, like, a bunch of hallways by, like, first graders and kindergarten classes because they had them, like, all mushed around in the different rooms. Like, you could never figure out anything in that place, I swear. It was really small, too. So, I realized... I was like... I looked at my shoelace and started trying to untie it until I realized... It stuck. I... My shoelace was stuck when I had to go to a class. Just... Just Kirsten problems... I had to ask, I was like stuttering for a little bit, and people were next to me, tapped me on the shoulder, asking me why I haven't left already. I had to tell them in the predicament that I was in. They, they sh put their hand on their head and just went like this, and then tried telling me if I, that I should ask it to someone for help, because if they couldn't even get it out, and they didn't want to like get up in the middle of class and literally go up and try to untie my shoe. I wasn't going to leave my shoe either. Our, it was, like, one big table, and I was just, like, we, just, you know, we had these, like, bouncy ball things that we were sitting on. 
they were like amazing. Like I just like bouncing up and down on them. Um because I really liked the green ones because they were the, like the biggest ones. And like it was so squish squishy that you could like you could like slouch and like but, like, the little ones, they'd be, like, like they'd be, like, uh, full of air and where you, it wasn't really that comfortable. So, like, hold on. I need more Gatorade. It's not sponsored, again, but sponsor me. Um, so I had to ask the teacher if she could help me. She dropped what she was doing and she tried helping me, but then realizing, trying to get her, like, ginormous nails to, like, get through, like, literally these shoelaces, I tied them tighter than I expected. So, this is pretty much like me. There's no way. This is me. And my shoelace. They don't wear shoes. It's stuck to the table. The teacher, on the other hand, tried to literally untie it, but couldn't, and almost had to cut them with scissors. These aren't, these are the same exact scissors that I had in fourth grade. I still have them in here because I like to cut holes in the top cap of the Gatorade bottles. And finally, once we get done, I had to explain to my teacher in front of everyone in my reading class why I was late for, for class. Let's just say that's one of the most embarrassing moments. Another one, this one's really short. So with me and this, a friend of mine, I'm not going to name her because I don't know if she wants her name on the internet. Um, we've been good friends since fourth grade when I moved into the school as a new kid um because i don't know why like the girl and boy seating thing like too many boys or something and literally so we were doing a project no no this was in the fifth grade yes we were doing a project together for science because we were like really good friends and literally what we did were we we were doing these shoe things yes me having a lot of embarrassing with shoes kids were coming around and I couldn't get this thing stuck out of my head that I watched the night before. So each time a kid would walk by and, and almost walk past our station to go to the next one, I would say, after every sentence, that's what my brother Herschel said. And then I'd say, no, my brother Sweatpants is right. And she looked at me like I was a, cr a crazy nonad. Like, what are you going on? I'm like, I don't know. So we ended up afterwards um, being like, what did we do? But now in middle school, we literally laugh our asses off. Just being like, she's like, do you remember the time you call, you kept saying, and my brother's sweatpants? And I'm like, oh my god, yes. Uh, but now I'm good with me doing embarrassing things. We're crying out loud, me and my friend Abby, we'll go around in the middle of the hallway and come up and and make commotion, screaming, I'm a stegosaurus, while staring at the ceiling. And if you don't know what Llamas with Hats is, um, look it up, type it, please check it out, it's amazing. So we just started making jokes, say, like, saying the phrases to each other, sorry if I was looking down. Um, so I would say to her, I'd be like, Carl, and she'd be like, where's his hands? And then I'd be like, well, I uh, cooked them up, yes, and I ate them. Carl, what is wrong with you? Oh, I, I kill people in your hands, that, that, that's two things. And don't, we, like, just, we go around class, and whenever one of us mentions it, we just go off through the whole series, and people are looking at us like, what in the world are you talking about? Until, literally, we just go walking around the hallways by our lockers or hallways or wherever in the school. It's a really big school. And we'll just say, and we'll just say out of the blue, I was, my stomach was making the rumblies that only hands would satisfy. And boy, do people not know exactly what we talk about. 
But, like, again, I will have to see you guys in the next video. Tell me if you like these story times and if I should do more. And I will want to see you guys later. Bye! Lama, 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 lama. I love you.